Hey, what's up? What's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about Miss Tamika from Escape. Okay, so Miss Tamika, she went on Angela Yee's lip service and she basically talked about how she has reviewed all of her man's prior tapes with women. Okay, his rendezvous in the bedroom with women. She has reviewed and looked and watched all of those tapes. So she basically goes on lip service and reveals it to them. And this is basically what was said. So let's play it. That is when we first started <laughs> dating or whatever, he had left me in his apartment and he had to go out of town. So I was like, okay. And I was looking through the closets and I saw a whole bunch of tapes. Uh oh. And I was like, why he got those on the back of the shelf? So I took them out and I played them. Baby, no, he did not. it was him and I don't know how many girls. I, don't, I just uh. stopped counting. <laughs> It was like girl after girl. You, after, wa you watched them? I watched all the tapes and I sat there and I was like. You, she watched all of them. I couldn't them. watch that. I, yeah, I, I watched like, it. I, I wanted to see who he I was like, dating. He did yeah. that to me too. <laughs> no, but we never. He, ne he didn't want to do a tape with me after that. Yeah. I was like. He's definitely he's crazy. Brother. But he was like, yeah. That would never happen in Brooklyn. He was ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, because I seen one of his one of his boys was on the tape. I saw his, he had tapes. I guess his boys didn't want to take back with them. They had tapes there. I watched all those too. So no, you did. All right. So she said, in addition to her man having tapes and tapes and tapes and tapes of him with all type of women, he also had homeboys who his man collected their tapes as well. Okay. And then she even goes on to say how while they were out, they even ran into a female who he had dealings with on one of the tapes. Did it? Yeah, so I funny. did. I watched it, but one from Brooklyn, so. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hilarious. know, the funny thing about it, when he came home, I talked to him about it. He's like, yeah, you know, you know, I did that back in my past. Like, no, this is the same shirt you got on. Ooh, <laughs> but he still got this shirt. <laughs> okay, so he tried to say that it was something from the past. But she realized, like, boy, you're lying because these are current clothes that you're wearing right now. And um, there was more. So let's play it. You still got this shirt. So, so we were walking down the street, no lie. One of the girls on the tape walked past us and act like she did not know him. And I looked at him. I said, how do you remember what she looked isn't like? That, oh, baby, you remember. OK. Yeah. yeah. I said, isn't that one of the chicks? He was like, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I was like, how's she going to act like she don't know you? What are you talking about? <laughs> husband. She's surprised that the girl act like she didn't know her husband. I mean, if you was bent over spreading them wide with a man and you see him walking down the street with a female, like I would hope that a female would keep it pushing and mind her business because you would hold another chick like why what like what did you want her to say you want her to go up to you and be like oh hey how are you your man had me spread eagle on a videotape like awkward like she was supposed to keep it pushing and everything like that but there was a lot of people who had comments about this and made comments in my comment section this is something that i posted to my instagram so let's basically go over some of the comments that people were saying Somebody says she is midlife crisis weird. Um, another person says that would have been my sign to run, but to each his own. You watched his tape, but his hid yours at your sister's house, question mark. Another person says maybe a few, but not all of them. And then another person says, why does he have his friends? I understand people have a past, but nah, you would have had to throw that ish away. I just don't know how we are living these days. Weird as F, and I hope all those girls know they were being recorded. Another person says, that's actually disgusting. Do the women know this man has tapes of them? If a man asks to record during Hanky Panky, say no. Someone says, an ish like this is why I don't take Gen X serious. That's a red flag and you married it. Okay, and another person says, it's the judgment in these comments for me. Um, I feel like a lot of the comments were like on the really, really judgy side, but I will agree that it would be a turnoff for me as well. Like I, I'm a person who like, obviously I'm not a virgin. I have a daughter. I don't, you know, done had hanky panky and done had prior men to whoever I end up with. 
However, comma, if your behavior is that of a person and you got stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on tapes, and she was like, it's tapes. Like she said, like it was a whole, like the way she described it was like, there was like a whole media library of tapes of different chicks. Now, if you are that level, I'm going to assume that you're a nympho and I'm going to assume that you have a problem. And I feel like, you know, at that point, I wouldn't be enough to satisfy that appetite. OK, because you even got the appetite to hold your friends tapes and all of that. And so I would feel like, in my opinion, I would feel like it's a red flag, even though we do have past and everything like that. But some of the stuff that you do in your past is behaviors that's going to carry on into your future as well. Like certain stuff, you're just not going to get rid of overnight. Like if you're a person, you've been your whole life, you don't like black people, you're not going to tomorrow suddenly just like black people and have a kumbaya. Like if you're a person who, um, you know, like you have like certain character traits, there's certain things that you can correct and change but there's certain things that when you got that itch, child, it's just not likely that you are going to be um, anything that, you know, I would want to, like, you know, divulge in further. Um, somebody says, women accept anything. Ain't no way I would want someone who I've seen have recorded tapes with a bunch of different women. That's crazy. Um, another person says, they were dating. She didn't say he had tapes while they were together. And it was indeed before they were married. So um, another person says, uh, let's see, she better be glad she acted like she didn't know him. Uh, another person says, why would his friends leave their tapes there? Sounds suspicious, but carry on. Why does he have them still? How old were these girls? Did they consent to being recorded? Why are you watching them? It's giving weird. Okay. Um, another one says, that's weird. I would have left because why he still have tapes of old relationships, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And the comments went on and on and on and on. What I would say is, ladies, don't let these men record you. Okay. Because they will literally send these tapes out to anybody who will watch them. Okay. Like I have guy friends. I'm the type of friend who I always talk mess to my guy friends. Like they always be, it seems like it's just a thing with guys. Like they brag about how good they D is or how good they put it down and stuff like that. And I'm a person, I just talk ish naturally. I'd be like, boy, bye. It's giving weak. It's giving whack. Like I could tell it's giving little D energy or, you know, like I'll tell guys stuff like that just because like <laughs> burst that bubble, <laughs> burst that bubble. Cause they be so like up here. And sometimes you have to kind of like, you know, <laughs> simmer down cowboy. Um, and guys have literally sent me videos like unprovoked, like, oh, you think I can't do whoop de whoop? Oh, here's a video of me. And it'll be like them and a, and a girl or whatever. Like, so they send these videos out to their friends. They send these videos out to whoever will watch them. And if you're not his girl, he has no respect for you to keep that a private thing. You know, girls these days are letting men record them. That's not their man, not their husband, have no loyalty to them. But yet you sitting here trusting him with your prized possessions in his phone, you know. So just note to self or to anybody, you know, who is thinking about it or have done it like. Unless it's on your phone, you have it in your possession and you like those type of things. If you don't want it out and, and stuff like that, don't trust it in the hands of no naker. OK, because they're sending them out to their homeboys. They they looking for validation and bragging rights and your stuff is is all over the place. So but aside from that, what do you guys think about her basically saying that she had these tapes? that she watched of her man. And this was prior to them getting married. This was when they were in the dating stage and her watching all of them. I'm going to play it um, again. Let's listen. I'm going to just play the audio because you know how they do when you put the video and the audio up. So let me put her back up here and let's listen. I might get mad when I tell you all this. When we first started <laughs> dating or whatever, he had left me in his apartment and he had to go out of town. So I was like, okay. And I was looking through the closets and I saw a whole bunch of tapes. Uh-oh. And I was like, why he got those on the back of the shelf? So I took them out and I played them. Baby. No, he did not. It was him and I don't know how many girls. I, don't, I just uh, stopped counting. 
It was like girl after girl. And you, after wa- you watched them? I watched all the tapes and I sat there and I was like. You, she watched all of them. I couldn't huh? watch that. I, yeah, I, I watched like, it. I, I wanted to see who he I was like, dating. He did yeah. that to me too. <laughs> no, but we never. He, ne- he didn't want to do a tape with me after that. Yeah. I was like. He's definitely he's crazy. Mother. But he was like, yeah. That would never happen in Brooklyn. He was ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want to know, are you the type that makes tapes? Do you, what do you think about this whole tape gate situation? Let me know what you think down below. I'll talk to you guys on the next video and make sure you subscribe, okay, to my channel if you're not subscribed and make sure you go to my website, www.nikanai.com. Get you some goodies, get you some toys and let's talk about it.